it's only been uh what two days since my last video but i thought i'd go ahead and kind of give a like a what's happening next video now that i've got it right side up again um i could not use the old cradle because it basically got destroyed when i pulled the boat off uh, some of it was actually glued uh, down in there to the keel um, so that kind of messed up the the mid and the aft cradle pieces uh, the forward one was still decent enough to kind of put back on my cart as far as uh, the backside goes I just put a couple little outrigger legs that rest against the bilge keel and screw to the cart so that'll just keep it stable from rocking back and forth and I also have uh, I'm gonna keep this strap on um, just so that you know prevents a little bit of twisting I've already been inside walking around so uh, the outrigger legs and that strap keeps it upright just fine so the next part is to put all these cleats, these bulkhead cleats and um, motor well cleats, um, they go on every bulkhead, gets a cleat um, to help uh, with the placement of the floorboards. So I'm going to go ahead over the next day or two, prefit all those on all the bulkheads um, from front to rear and get those glued in place after which I'll finish sealing all the underside below the floorboards and get it ready for actually installing floorboards so this is where I'm at and uh, it's a nice day out here. Uh, garage temperature is 60 degrees with 49% humidity. Um, nice in the sunshine. But I just wanted to uh, make this little video. Let you guys see where I'm at and what I'm be doing next. Um, I'm not sure about why the paint is doing this if you can see that it's got like a little mar and when I put the second coat on I did not put any of the conditioner in the paint the uh, company said to make sure you put it on thin you know a couple thin coats and I think the second coat kind of came out a little thicker and now it's it's giving me this this issue here I can I can scratch it. Oh, okay, and it mars the paint, so I think I'm gonna have to uh, give it like a wet sand over the entire color coat, and then the third coat will go on with the conditioner like it's supposed to, and hopefully that fixes the issue. And as far as the front end. You can see my bow eye, you can see the half oval brass, or the oval brass strip on it. And so that turned out pretty nice. I'm probably going to have to make a, a special block to uh, rest underneath that washer, just so that it's uh, got a firmer grip. So that's it. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. And uh, give some thumbs up, you know, if you like these videos. And I will uh, see you in a little while after all these cleats are on.